so uh, in my previous lecture i had discussed the power of two decomposition technique that was used to reduce the hardware complexity in an pipeline iir filter so uh, that idea can be extended for any arbitrary number of loop pipelining stages okay so we have pipelined the first order iir filter which was given by the equation 1 upon 1 minus pz inverse so this is first order pipe iir filter okay and it can be m staged pipeline using look ahead transformation techniques so let m is 12 so hz will become summation i equal to 0 to 11 ai z of minus i divided by 1 minus e is power 12 z is power minus 12 so if i implement this filter in a conventional way it will have a fir part and iir part so the fir part will have 11 number of adders because 11 addition is there summation i equal to 0 to 11 and 11 multiplications and this part will have one adder and one multiplication with 12 delays this part will also have some delays but delay is not important in the context to fir filter okay so i can reduce the hardware complexity of fir part by using power of two decomposition which is that this fir part can be implemented into different number of stages given by log of 2 m so log of 2 of 12 is approximately 4 3.5 is so next integer value is 4 so it can be divided into four different stages the fir part so part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 so this is stage 0 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 so it will have 2 raised to power 0 zeros that is 1 it will have 2 raised to power 1 zeros that is equal to 2 it will have 2 raised to power 2 zeros that is equal to 4 so 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7 okay and this should have 2 raised to power 3 that is equal to 8 zeros no the remaining zeros are 4 okay so the idea fails here that ith stage will have 2 raised to power i zeros okay so we have to implement it using four zeros okay so that can be done there is no problem okay the idea of decomposition can be extended to any arbitrary number of loop pipelining stages m so let m is number of pipelining stages that can be factorized into m1 m2 up to mp okay so the non recursive stages that is the fir part implements m1 minus 1 zeros 
m1 into m2 minus 1 up to m1 m2 up to m of p minus 1 in bracket m of p minus 1 zeros it says that if m can be factorized into p different factors like this 1 2 up to p okay so this is 1 this is 2 this is p okay so this stage will have number of zeros that will be given by m1 minus 1 this stage will have number of zeros given by m1 into m2 minus 1 okay and the last stage that is th stage will be having number of zeros given by m1 m2 up to m of p minus 1 so multiplication of m1 to m of p minus 1 into m of p subscript that value subtracted by minus 1 okay these are number of zeros in the respective st stages okay so let's take an example so m is 12 and it can be decomposed into 2 into 3 into 2 okay and my filter in consideration is given by xz i equal to 0 to 11 e of i z of minus i minus divided by 1 minus a raised to power 12 z raised to power minus 12 okay so this fir part can be implemented into three different independent stages so this is stage 1 this is stage 2 and this is stage 3 1 this is 2 and this is stage 3 and the IIR part so this is the FIR part ok so now talking about number of zeros it will have this is 2 so 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1 zeros this part will have 2 the first term into this 3 minus 1 that is 4 zeros ok so the last stage will have total number of zeros given by 2 into 3 and this minus 1 2 minus 1 so this is 6 so 6 plus 4 plus 1 is 11 ok so 11 zeros in the original filter and we have divided into three parts the total number of zeros are also 11 so if I represent the poles and zeros in Z planes that will be something like this ok so for a 12 stage pipeline filter it will have pole at Z equal to A this is A and we have introduced 11 cancelling poles and zeros Okay, given by z equal to a e raised to the power i 2 pi by 12 dot k so k is equal to 1 2 3 up to 11 so these are 11 cancelling poles and zeros the circle in red is representing zeros and the cross in blue representing the poles so they are cancelling poles and zeros and the cross in black is the original pole okay and the angular spacing between the two consecutive coordinates is 30 degree so uh, pi by 6 that is 30 degree 
now coming back to this decomposed FIR part. This is having one zero. This is having four zero. This is having six zero. And now it is on us which zero you want to include for which stage. Okay. So this is having one zero. So let this is z of minus e. This one. So I decided to include this zero for my stage one. This is having four number of zeros. So I can include any four. Okay. So this one. Let's say this and this separated by this is sixty. This is minus sixty, and symmetrically this one. This is one twenty. Minus one twenty. So these four zeros, I am including these four zeros in this stages. So z is equal to plus minus j pi by three, sixty degree. E into e raised to power plus minus j pi by three. And this is plus one twenty, and this is minus one twenty. So z is equal to A e to the power plus minus two pi by three, and the remaining six. That is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can be included in the last part. So z is equal to plus minus j a. This two. And the remaining one, given by j is z is equal to a into e to the power plus minus j pi by six. Okay, so thirty degree, thirty plus sixty, that is plus j a. This is minus j. We have already included this, and this is minus thirty degree. So plus minus j pi by Six and z is equal to a e to the power plus minus j of five pi by six. Okay, so this is plus one fifty minus one fifty. And based on this information. Now we can write its transfer function very easily. Okay, so the numerator part that can be written as this is having only one zero, so one plus e z minus one. This is having four number of zeros, so based on this information, the equation will be one plus e square z minus two plus. A four z minus four, and for zeros, this six zeros, the equation will be one plus a of six z of minus six, and transfer function, the new transfer function, at z will be one plus e z minus one, one plus e square z minus two plus e four z minus four. One plus e of six z of minus six divided by one minus e of twelve z of minus twelve. Okay, so now talking about the hardware complexity of FIR part. So number of adders and multipliers. So without drawing, but just by looking the equation, we can derive the number of adders and multipliers. Okay, so. We have three different stages: stage one, stage two, and stage three. So in stage one, number of adders one, one multiplication. In stage two, two adder, two multiplication. In stage three, one adder, one multiplication. 
total adder r2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 and multiplier is also 3 ok so from 11 11 adders and 11 multipliers we reduce the hardware complexity to 3 okay, for this FIR part that is a significant reduction especially for multipliers okay so this is not just a unique uh, one why because the value m that is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 that is also 12 okay so m that is equal to 3 into 2 into 2 that is also 12 so this is not a unique representation there are other variants also so let's take this value m is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 so m is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 so we have three different stages stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and then IIR part so now talking about zeros this will have 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1 0 it will have 2 into 2 minus 1 that is equal to 2 0 and this will have 2 into 2 dot 3 minus 1 okay so this is 8 8 number of zeros okay so let 0 for this stage is given by z is equal to minus a okay and for second stage let the zeros are given by z is equal to plus minus j a so for four stages so for first stage z equal to minus a for second stage plus minus j and the remaining in the third stage so for third stage z z will be equal to a e is to power plus minus j pi by 6 a e is to power plus minus j pi by 3 e e is to power plus minus j to pi by 3 and e e is to power plus minus j 5 pi by 6 ok and uh, numerator or you can say the fir part the transfer function will be given by 1 minus sorry 1 plus a z inverse for this the equation will be 1 plus a square z minus 2 and for this dot 1 plus a of 4 z of minus 4 plus a is for 8 z is to minus 8 and the transfer function will be 1 minus 1 plus a z inverse 1 plus a square z minus 2 1 plus a 4 z minus 4 plus a of 8 z minus 8 divided by 1 minus e of 12 z is to minus 12 and talking about the hardware complexity of FIR part okay, stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 
adder and multiplier so stage 1 will have one adder and one multiplier stage 2 will have two adder one adder and one multiplier sorry one adder and one multiplier and stage 3 will have two adder and two multiplier two adder and two multiplier so this is two this one total that is four and four so in this case the hardware complexity is also four okay it is not affected by the different decomposition factor okay let's take second example third example that is m is equal to 3 into 2 into 2 that is also 12 okay so it will have again three stages first stage will have 3 minus 1 that is two zeros second stage will have 3 into 2 minus 1 that is three zeros and stage 3 will have 3 into 2 into 2 minus 1 that is six zeros okay and the location of two zeros can be given by z is equal to a e raised to power plus minus 2 pi by 3 for stage 2 the zeros can be given by z equal to minus a and a e raised to power plus minus j pi by 3 so total three zeros and stage 3 six zeros given by z equal to a e raised to power plus minus j pi by 6 this is two zero this is plus minus j a again two and the remaining two is given by a e raised to power plus minus this will be j 5 pi by 6 okay and based on this function the transfer function will be 1 plus a z minus 1 plus a square z minus 2 for this okay for this the transfer function will be 1 plus a cube z minus cube and for this the transfer function will be 1 plus a raised to power 6 dot z raised to power minus 6 and in denominator 1 minus a raised to power 12 z raised to power minus 12 okay so talking about its hardware complexity so the first stage will have two adder and two multiplier the second stage will have one adder and one multiplier and the third stage will have one adder and mul multiplier so again total is four because so all the three cases are having four adder and four multiplier so by varying this factor the hardware complexity does not change okay so three number of stages so no matter what factor you choose the hardware complexity will remain same okay also this function depends on the value of zero that you are including so what you are doing you are including some zero value okay so like this z minus s1 z minus s2 like this Okay, so whatever value of zeros you are including just by solving it and putting in this form and multiplying this you can get this kind of transfer function so if you change this value this will be something different if you change this value this will be something different yes but the overall product final product will be the same no matter you choose this or this or this the final product will be same the factors can be different so this is all about the general decomposition method